capturing a recce. The basketball passes over the top for Inshu. Here he has one try, slaps off the first up with the tackle. Ooh, New Zealand doing the thing. All Black Sevens rugby men's team playmakers. In any sport, a playmaker is the player who is tasked with the job of controlling the state of the team's offensive play and beef up defence. In the game of rugby in particular, it happens to be the player in the playmaking position. Remember when we said in a previous video that it can be difficult to determine the role of each rugby player during a game? Well, even if this is usually the case for most playing positions, any good coach will want to know what skills and attributes each position requires so that the team is cohesive and plays as one lethal weapon attacking in the same direction. The space of playmaking in rugby is reserved for a scrum half. This is the player expected to be fit not only physically, but also mentally on the drawing board. We have already looked at various players who can be argued to be great playmakers in their respective teams. And in this video, we extend this scrutiny to the all black men's sevens rugby team. Be sure to watch the video to the very end to find out. Before we jump into the list, allow us to give you a bit of context about the All Black Men Sevens team. The All Black Sevens have been one of the most successful international Sevens teams in the world, competing regularly on the World Rugby Sevens Series circuit, which they have won 12 times. They have lifted the Rugby World Cup of Sevens three times in 2001, 2013 and 2018. Plus, they have won four Commonwealth Games gold medals. The All Black Sevens team was first selected in 1973 and attended a major international tournament for the first time in 1983, the famous Hong Kong Sevens. Also, the players have won the World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year on five occasions. Afeleke Pelenesi in 2007, DJ Forbes in 2008, Tomasi Kama in 2012, and Tim Mickelson in 2013. In fact, DJ Forbes holds the record for most appearances, having appeared in 89 tournaments before retiring at the end of 2017. Impressive, don't you think? Surely by now you are curious to know which players have pushed for this truly world-class performance, and you are about to find out. Number 5. Ngorohi Magavi Black Closing our list is 25-year-old Ngorohi Magavi Black. He has played 67 games so far, scored 16 tries and 36 conversions, and therefore earned himself a total of 152 points in his rugby career so far. Ngorohi Magavi first caught the attention of national selectors playing for Bay of Plenty at the Regional Sevens in 2017, where he cemented his inclusion in the national squad after impressing at the National Sevens tournament. He would later go on to make his all-black Sevens debut in Las Vegas in 2018. Ever since his selection, Magavi Black has not disappointed his coaches. He is known by many to be a versatile backline player, with a quick turn of pace and good eye for the game. He is also very passionate and is especially known for his crazy long passes and back passes that no one sees coming. In the pitch, he is sometimes able to accelerate to a speed of 33 km per hour, especially when he has determined there is no one else but him to place the ball at the try line. The one thing that stands out about Magavi is his understanding of the game, despite being pretty young. There are various instances where he made the crowds go wild. For example, back in 2019, when he managed to break the South African defense wall and managed to score a try in what would have seemed impossible circumstances. This is perhaps the reason why he was named Player of the Final in Cape Town 2019 and Hamilton 2020 and was voted Player's Player of the Year at the NZRPA Awards that season. Number 4. Joe Weber Next on the list we have Joe Weber. He was born on the 27th of August 1993. Weber has had quite a busy career despite being so young. When he was just 18, he was privileged to represent the All Blacks at underage grades, where he made his debut on the 7th circuit in 2011. He has also made a number of appearances for the Chiefs and Wakaito under 18 sides, which only strengthened his playing profile. Weber has continued his illustrious career by becoming a vital part of the New Zealand 7 side, while making appearances for the Maori All Blacks. In 2016, he left Wakaito and joined Bay of Plenty, and was named in the NZ Province Barbarian squad to face the British and Irish Lions, 
and came off the bench for Brian Gatland in the 60th minute. Now with these fancy achievements, there is no doubt in his playmaking abilities. With his speed as one of his strengths, you can only be left to imagine what many opponents chasing him usually go through. Apart from his speed, Weber also has a spectacular ability to see through opponents gaps and initiate plays which usually end up in the ball slamming in the try line. Number 3. Kurt Baker At number 3 we have none other than Kurt Baker. He is 32 years old. Baker has played 210 games in his career so far, out of which he has 126 tries, 83 conversions and hence a total of 796 points. Kurt Baker is a lively back who combines fancy footwork with reliable defence and is a senior member of the All Black Sevens. He has an impressive resume with two Commonwealth Games gold medals, 2010 and 2018, along with two Rugby World Cup Sevens titles, 2013 and 2018. Not just a talent in the Sevens game, Baker has played more than 70 provincial matches for Manawatu, Taranaki and Hawke's Bay claiming the ITM Cup title in 2014 with Taranaki. In 2020, he was a crucial member in the championship and ran Furley Shield winning Hawks Bay team. Baker is mainly known as a fearless player on the pitch, preferring to make a run for the try line rather than pass the ball. While this has been considered a bit selfish by some of his teammates and fans, it is the one way he makes sure that his team does not lose an opportunity for any try you should definitely watch the applause he received when he hit the 100 try mark against Fiji in 2018. Hey, are you enjoying this video so far and getting entertained? If yes, then please be sure to visit our channel Tryline, your home of all amazing facts and developments in the world of rugby. Here you will find many more videos like this. Number 2. Andrew Newstub Missing top position on our list by just one slot is Andrew Newstub. He is only 25 years old. Having played a total of 137 games in his career so far, he has managed 43 tries, 156 conversions and a total of 527 points. Back in 2017, a player of the tournament performance at the National Sevens saw Andrew Newstub catch the attention of selectors. He was brought into the All Black Sevens camp and went on to play 8 of the 10 tournaments that year. Newstub, who is a young landscaper from Tasman, is a nippy runner with great acceleration and has developed into a regular selection for the All Black Sevens team. He was also the series top point scorer in the 2018-19 season with 309 points. As if that isn't good enough, he was part of the All Black Sevens team to win Commonwealth Games Gold and Sevens World Cup in 2018 and also played for Canterbury in the 2020 Mitre 10 Cup. Apart from his light feet, Newstub has the great ability of fooling opponents, running as if he is going to place a try while at the same time pulling together defence, creating space and then passing to a different player when the defence is too far from tackling him down. This alone has earned them many points against many strong teams. Number 1. Vilimoni Kuroi And coming in at number 1 on our list as the top playmaker in the current All Black squad, Vilimoni Kuroi. If you thought Newstub was young, then how about we blow your mind away by revealing that Kuroi is only 23 years old. He weighs 88 kgs and is 175 centimeters in height. Kuroi has played 111 games, earning 36 tries, 102 conversions and a total of 384 points. Vilimoni Kuroi burst onto the 7th series in 2017 with a number of eye-catching performances. In his first year out of Fielding High School, Kuroi debuted for the All Black Sevens on home soil in Wellington. A combination of deft footwork, speed and a natural eye for the game sees comparisons drawn with the Sevens legend Tomasi Kama. That's right, the kid is so good that he is almost being considered a legend. Kuroi plays for Otago in the Mitre 10 Cup and is contracted to the Highlanders. Kuroi has all the traits of his fellow playmakers in the list and more. From a top speed, to fake passes that look real, to sprinting it out and stepping his opponents while at it, he is a beacon of hope for many young aspiring Sevens players. That's all we had today and I hoped you enjoyed it. Did you agree with our list? 
Are there players you think we left out or who we slotted to a different position than the one that you prefer? Feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe.